Shalom. I'd like to say our praise is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessings to the whole for members of the elect. Uh, this is just a quick lesson in regards to uh, court, corte, real family, all right, or the coast, or the costa, or the coast. All right, um, this is a brief, his, brief history of, um, you know, um, their family lineage. Right? I descend from that that line, you know, and um, I come out of um, the British and the Irish stock, right, um, through my father, and. Um, this is a lot of stink history, you know, that um, Edomites, you know, that they don't want us to know, all right, because they know prior to us being colonized, all right, going to the, you know, with the transatlantic slave trade and stuff, even, bef even with, even during the transatlantic slave trade, um, you know, um, our people were still in power in certain parts of Europe, especially Britain. Britain was like the, was like the, um, was like the pinnacle, it was like the pinnacle uh, place in the earth. And, um, you know, pretty much uh, we fell, you know, and um, there's a lot of history and stuff but uh, I'm just gonna go into um, you know some of the Canadian history here in Canada it says uh, Corte Real or Coste Real or Corte Real all right so the Costa the real the Costa or, or the Coast or Costa all right a Portuguese family a noble org origin in the 14th century or originated in Tavera right which would be um, a place in Portugal um, the family is famous for its involvement in the Portuguese discoveries during the age of exploration right because we were great explorers man all right and uh, I come through that line you know, Mateus da Costa. I come through different. Um, I come through that my my family line, all right. And uh, even before Mateus da Costa, there was uh, there were pioneers, you know, who uh, went to Newfoundland. You know, um, you know, Saint Lawrence River, you know, Greenland, and some, you know, the Arctic as well. And um, there's a lot of history, man. And um, this is things that um, these Edomites, you so-called uh, Caucasian people, you Edomites, you know, like you don't want us, you know, the Israelites to know. The, th the real Israelites. The family is famous for its involvement in the Portuguese discovery during the age of exploration. In the 16th century, um, during this time, Jean Vaz Cortier Real and his son Gaspar Cortier Real and Miguel Cortier Real, a notable, participated in exploration voyage in Newfoundland, in Canada. All right, and uh, I come from this stock. This is the start that I come out of, and uh, through uh, on my my mother's side, and uh, through my my dad's side, I, I come out of the the British, right? and um, you know I go through the Stuart. I come from the Stuart, um, the Costa, all right, Port, uh, country Portugal, Tavira, Algrave. The Azores, Portugal, um, the 17th century. Vasco, Ane, the Costa, 
All right. This is the titles. All right. And um, they were very notable. And, uh, you know, even though we were, you know, like 1492 and stuff, uh, you know, the last uh, stronghold of... Uh, of Granada fell, you know, basically 492, 47, 1497, you know, that was the last stronghold of our people. So a lot of our people had to f flee elsewhere and some of our people were still, were, um, some of our people were still in Portugal as well. In charge, it says, uh, for, for their discoveries in served as a portuguese crown the family was given the the island of a uh, of tarsicia tarsi tarsera or tarsera and san jorgen in the azores right so that those azores and stuff and san jore those are the uh, some of the islands you know um that's off the coast of Portugal, you know, and it's a little far out and um, and it's like in the middle of the Atlantic. So that's why a lot of our people are um, these explorers of whom I descend. They go through, they, they will go to Newfoundland, um, you know, Iceland, Greenland, you know. Because um, our people were always going back and forth here. And even before this, um, you know, the Vikings, you know, they would come to, um, to new, you know, our people would come to Iceland, Greenland, and, uh, and Newfoundland as well. All right. The family integrated itself well into the portuguese nobility in the 17th century through all series of su successful marriages and um acquisitions of several titles notable marquis de castel rodriguez all right but um see tarcia Sorry, should um, this is just some of the history. I'm gonna go into scripture, Salakia. Yeah? All right, but um, what's the guy? So uh, Salakia. Yeah? Yeah, so this guy, I'm going to go off this guy first. All right, and uh, you could do your own research as well. So this is Gaspar Gorte Real, all right, or Gaspar Costa, or the Costa. All right, um, Gaspar Gorte Real was Portuguese explorer who, alongside his father, Jove Vez Cartier Real, uh, brother of Miguel, participated in various explorer, explorer, racer, it's like a explorer, exploratory voyages. And, um, it says sponsored by the Portuguese crown. There is a voyage, it's like a these voyages are said to have been some of the first to reach the Newfoundland right, and possible other parts of the eastern Canada, right? So that whole, um, you know, Nova Scotia, uh, Prince Edward Island, right? Um, Quebec, Saint, um, the St. Lawrence River. Um, you know, these guys, they would, uh, they would trade, you know, to the Gadites, all right? Um, you know, there's, you know, Arub and the Rubenites and stuff, and, um, uh, 
they would trade. Um, let me uh, let me get a scripture. Cause that's been over ten minutes. Like it's very uh, vast, a lot of history. Because uh, you know, like these are things that um these high these schools, you know, these colleges, universities, they don't want our people to know. Um, you know. This is Revelation 21, and I saw another angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, all right? Who is that angel? The angel is Yahawashai, all right? Because he's the one who has the keys, all right? And, um, you know, and this was the time when, you know, the Roman, the pagan Roman Empire was falling, and then Israel, you know, the Israelites came to power, you know, basically, um, 193 AD, you know, with Septimius Severus, um, and then, um, you know, 337 AD with uh, Constantine the Great, you know, but uh, like pretty much, you know, they had a, 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 a agreement, you know, and pretty much um, they incorporated, you know, our people with the with a Christian way, you know, with the, you know, and pretty much, um, they pretty much use the Christian at the, or the Christianity to, um, you know, to swindle our people, right? You know, just like how uh, our people is, um, making money, you know, you know, doing all these different, uh, you know, like, you know what there's like, you know what the, you know, like what the so-called black church is doing now. You know, they're not new under the sun, but uh, pretty much they, um, you know, they incorporated, um, you know, the Mary worship, right? Which would be, uh, you know, the Queen of Heaven or uh, Isis, you know, and Tammuz, you know, all that type of stuff into the, um, into the church. All right, because um, all right, because the Lord, all right, when He was on the scene, all right, He's a black man, right? Revelation one verse uh, verse fifteen, you know, in Daniel, all right, um, Eva seven, and uh, He was very dark. All right, He was a man. He had a beard. The Heavenly Father had a beard. Um, and uh, you know but they incorporated those things into the into the church and um thus after we uh, there has been many like there was many wars amongst each other amongst ourselves all right from uh, 337 um AD you know to basically um pretty much we we uh fell you know, during like the 1300s, you know, with the Black Plague, all right, that um, struck Europe, you know, and, uh, you know, because our people were uh, in power and uh, we died, I know, um, like many millions of our people died, all right, you could read about the Black Plague and um, like pretty much um, the last, like some of the, some of the last strongholds were like uh was the was britain all right um you know and um you know some of our some of our people were still in power from basically uh till you know king george the third and uh queen victoria you know and charlotte sophia right which King Charles and um, the third and Char um, Charlotte Sophia, they were uh, on like they were like together, right? And um, Charlotte Sophia, she they come from the Hanover dynasty, or the and um, and they were married, right? And uh, you know, but he was, uh, he was, he was basically funding wars and stuff, and uh, pretty much, um, 
you know, Esau came up to power, you know, with uh, Meyer Amchal Bauer, you know, and uh, they funded the war, all right? All right. Mayor Amchal Bauer or uh, Rothschild, they uh, funded that war, all right? And um, you could read their history about Mayor Amchal Bauer and stuff, but um, it's a lot of that, a lot of history, but I'm gonna just speed up. And just um, continue with Revelation 20. And he, he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, right? And the dragon, right? But now, you know, in the, you know, um, you know, where it would be the pagan Roman Empire, right? The Roman Empire, right? Which, um, you know, like they were ruling basically... Uh, the eastern the eastern hemisphere basically right um let me get that slack yeah all right the pagan roman empire map Right, because at that that time Esau didn't have the whole earth on lock, right? Now he has the whole earth on lock, but you know. And this is even before one seventy two, but pretty much you know. This is like a like a depiction of the pagan Roman Empire. Right, and there's a lot of history. Yeah, I'm trying to get on the map. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, right? serpent deceit and um you know they're very crafty all right and we know who the old serpent is all right which would be uh in genesis right um when adam you know was um when eve you know when the serpent used eve you know and uh you know basically to entice adam you know you know to eat you know the tr the fruit of good and evil right the tr tree of good and evil right and um pretty much that you know and which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years all right so they were bound for a thousand years okay after um the fall of the pagan roman empire and then we rose up to power and cast him to the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more till the thousand years be fulfilled. And after, and, and like pretty much he was sealed, right? And, um, you know, like that's why we, you know, like we, you know, like we put them up, you know, in the Caucasus Mountains, right? And pretty much, um, you know, when Esau started coming back, rising up to power, right? Whereas during the, um, pretty much the Khazar Empire, right? Basically be basically in the six hundreds, you know, seven hundreds where the um, the the you know, because there you had the Byzantine Empire, which was you know, our people, all right, um Constantinople, you know, you know, we had that jurisdiction over there on that side of the flank of Europe. You know, Byzantine Empire, and then you had the, you had the, um, like, then you had the, uh, what do you call them? You had the Muslims, right? You had the Ishmaelites and those heathen nation, pretty much, and they, um, like, so they basically, the Khazars, right? You know, these, uh, small hats, they chose that, um, you know, like, they chose a mutual religion pretty much right and they basically 
you know like they had the option to choose either Christianity or choose um, Islam all right but they basically you know like but they chose a mutual religion and they chose um you know like they chose you know like the like the laws or the ways of the of the israelites pretty much right which they're either might but you know like that was a way um you know to like you know to cover themselves hide themselves right because they call themselves the serpent people and um you could read about the khazar empire or the turks and basically 1453 when the byzantine empire pretty much fell and then um the ottoman empire came and whatever you know some of our people went into kept under the ottoman turks you know other other their empire you know and after those he sh must be loose a little season right and um right now you know they're in that little season right because they have the whole earth on lock you know obadiah you know genesis 27 this is uh their blessing right but uh, i'm gonna continue i didn't want to really go too in depth but this is um gaspar court real all right which he uh he's a israelite all right of the how of the cost of the cost of stock portuguese right it says uh, born 1450 angra de rosa tercera azora island king of portugal or the kingdom of portugal um basically yeah this is early life gas Gaspar was born in noble court real family uh, on Tarsia in Azori Island, the youngest of three sons of Portugal, a uh, Portuguese explorers, John Vaz de Corte Real. Gaspar acknowledged his father on expection, it's like an expedition to north america and his brothers were explored as well right so we always so uh even uh you know even basically um you know when we were like persecuted in the spanish inquisition you know our people were coming to the americas and doing trade all right and um I remember when I was young, I always knew that, um, cause I have that name too, right? Uh, the Costa, all right. And, um, I always, I always would tell, I always say, yeah, I'm Portugal, so I'm Portuguese and Jamaican, you know, but, you know, I always knew in my spirit, you know, even when I was like, uh, in, in like grade, grade four and five, you know, I always would tell my teachers and even high school right and yeah and i really am you know come out of that stock it says uh in 1500 corte real or costa reached greenland believing to be the east asia as christopher columbus had regarded the new world right which is a lie all right because christopher columbus knew um where you know the 10 tribes were when you go to get second Ezra's 13 verse 40 goes into that but was unable to land he he set out in second voyage in 1501 taking three caravels the expedition was again present from the landing of the Greenland due to the frozen sea, these changed court socket socket. He changed court course and landed in the country of a large river. The they land the country of large rivers, pine trees and berries, believed to be 
Labrador, right? Which would be which be Newfoundland and Labrador. Alright. So we are always trading back and forth, right? When you go into the Vikings, uh, because you know Gad was here, Reuben, you know, the whole northern kingdom was here in the Americas. So we were always trading, especially you know, when you read about the Vikings. When you watch um the Viking like season if you watch the last season about you read about um you watch that watch those episode of with Fluky and stuff and he came to the Americas and stuff. Yeah, that was us. Alright. You know, not no either merits, man. So they know Esau knows, man. Captured fifty seven indigenous people, right? Because they were a lot of these guys, a lot of our people, you know, hit, you know, Costa, they would, um, they basically, uh, you know, like they were trading them back to the crown. They were taken back to Portugal to be sold into slavery, to be assisted in financial, it's like in financing the voyage, right? So a lot of our people, they were, they were uh, men, you know, uh, to uh, go on voyages, you know, and um, like Newfoundland, that whole region that has a lot of codfish, it's like, yeah, um, Newfoundland, you know, Iceland, you know, that whole region has a lot of codfish and all that, but um, they, slaved, they enslaved, you know, some of our people. And um, and and that was basically from the fourteen hundreds, you know. You know, I guess before the fifteen hundreds, you know. So basically, fourteen, like basically during the time when Columbus was on the scene, so which would be like fourteen ninety two. And. Uh, you know, and that happened to our us, right, too, right, with uh, the transatlantic slave trade. You know, let um, me get this. So it makes all sense. Because our people were, um, when you fast forward a couple hundred years after, right, the 1600s, all right you know um the crown of the the, the of um you no know, king king Charles, of uh king james the sixth all right of uh england all right or britain and ireland all right which he was a black man a so-called black man and um yeah we were our people were trading each other into slavery all right and um you know because esau was rising back to power you know when uh basically with um we read about the borgia family all right basically 1490 uh no 1492 basically with uh pope alexander six of rome they came back to power and stuff and um you know hence you know a couple hundreds couple hundred years later in the sixth you know in the seventeen hundreds or in Slakia in the seventeenth hundreds basically um you know like the Bauer family came back to power. Alright which would be the Rothschild, the Red Shield. Alright and um and they financed you know the ships and all that man and um yeah the china slave trade led led slaka this is a bite of benin all right which would be light of benjamin all right all right benin ban in which jamin right which would be benjamin right the son of the right right so our people were over here in in uh, west africa when you go to revelation 12 well, the rare people were uh, you know, fleeing from Spanish. It's like our people were fleeing 
from Roman persecution during 70 AD and stuff. Um, you know, read about this too. This is Aida, Aida, or Aida, or Judah, Judah. All right, so they know by the French, by the Portuguese, Feda, by the Dutch, known as Glenville, former, it says, formerly the chief port of the kingdom of Waida or Judah in the coast of Republic of Benjamin. So the, the kingdom of Judah, so the house of Judah, all right, so Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you know, the Dahomey, you know, Republic of Benin or Benjamin, or Republic of Ben, you know, we were pretty much, um, there are different tribes all right, amongst them and they basically sold we were we were selling each other into slavery and then basically uh the arabs everybody was making uh you know like a like commodity but basically after you know after like uh hundreds of, a couple hundred years all right basically um you know the french the dutch you know all these colonizers came and they came across and they basically colonized you know the people of ghana you know you know the whole slave coast or the gold coast man you know angola you know all over man all over south africa zimbabwe you know and um and we could get that joel 3 because it's very vast and um just bear with me because these are things that um you know what you know they don't want us to know in uh, in school or nothing and it's not going to be and, and you're never going to know these things in school or university or college because they don't want our, you know, because they don't want to, um, you know, like, because they would, because they'd have to basically go into real history, all right, and agree with what we're saying, right, because, you know, th this is real history, all right, and uh, like they say, if you want to hide something from a, a, a nigger, it says, if you want to hide something from a nigga, you got to put it in a book, right? So, you know, like that's how our people get deceived, right? Joel 3 verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given them boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon and all the coasts of Palestine? Will he render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? All right, because we were, you know, we were seized, we were stole, we were, we were robbed, right? You know, by these, uh, you know, you know, these, uh, you know, these, these, uh, I was gonna say, the Hamites, you know, you people of uh, Palestine now, all right, modern day Palestine now, or you people in the land of Palestine, you know, who was fighting for, um, you know, for the land, you know, because you, you damn Arabs are running that land, all right? And you know, the Palestine, the original P Palestines, you know, they're supposed to be, uh, the original Palestine are the Hamites, man, the Philistines, all right? Will you render me or recompense me? It says, it says, will you recomp it says, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, right, turn your recompense upon your own head, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant thing. The children also of Judah, so of Yahweh, all right, or Judah, all right, Benin, or Dahomey, the children of Jerusalem have ye sold, 
right? So even the the northern tribe, right? You know, Gad, Rup, you know, some of you know a lot of our people came over to the, um to Europe, right? Spain, you know, Portugal, you know, and different parts of Europe as well, man. All right, and um, you know, like to the Atlantic, right? There's a transatlantic slave trade, man. You know, but we're the one to um, we're falling from power, so we, you know, um, you know, it's a whole mess, you know, that we all, you know, we fell, and uh, Esau came back to power, man, and and that's why we fell because we disobeyed the heavenly Father, man. And uh, let me watch this. I'm gonna play this quick. So luck, yeah. So luck, yeah, yeah. I think this is this. Meyer Amschel Rothschild was a German Jewish banker who founded one of the world's wealthiest and most powerful dynasties. He was born on February 23rd, 1744, in Frankfurt, the son of Moses Bauer, a money changer and goldsmith. Yes, and this is for educational purposes all right and uh yeah i'm gonna start this again this is for educational purposes meyer amschel rothschild was a german jewish banker who founded one of the world's wealthiest and most powerful dynasties he was born on february 23rd 1744 in frankfurt the son of moses bauer a money changer and goldsmith the red shield over his father's shop door would become his family's heraldic symbol when moses died in 1754 meyer amschel had to abandon his rabbinical studies and go to work as a cashier at a bank in hanover he earned a series of promotions and managed to obtain a small share in the bank's equity. When he returned to Frankfurt, he took up his father's business and changed his surname from Bauer, German for peasant, to Rothschild, which meant Red Shield. In 1760, thanks to General von Eschdorf, whose business interests he had helped manage, Amschel met Prince William IX of Asia Castle. In 1769, he became William's court agent and began managing his estate, particularly the affairs related to the various wars the prince was involved in. Thanks to his ability and now considerable savings, Meyer Amschel was able to found his own bank a few years later in Frankfurt. Rothschild kept his oldest son, Amschel Meyer, with him in Frankfurt and sent his other sons to key cities around Europe. Nathan went to London, Solomon went to Vienna, James to Paris, and Carl to Naples. Each of them founded a bank with ties to their father's bank. Yeah, so you see how East, you see how the Bowers, right, or the Red Shields, you see how they work, right? And, um, you know, and they split up, right? And, um, and that's how they established their empire, their wealth. Uh, and, um, you know, and they branched off. Some of them came to the Americas. They changed their name to Rockefeller and all these different names. And uh, so it just shows you, you know, even um, with this whole thing with, the, with Kanye West, you know, saying that uh, we're the Jews or whatever. Yeah, it's fact, but um, you know he's just a uh, he's just a puppet or whatever, and um, you know, and 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 he's gonna be the one who's gonna like he's gonna be the one that uh, he's just a provocateur, basically, and um, all right, because he's not he's not t he's not telling you he tell not telling these uh, Amalekites you know that they're gonna go into into slavery or whatever because like how we went down you know like they're gonna go down the same way all right but it's gonna be even worse because you know this there's gonna be a third world a third world war the third world man all right and um that's revelation um uh, says uh behold there cometh one woe all right and um 
you know, and uh, maybe we can get that quick. Let me get that. Slack, yeah. Yeah, Revelation 9, and I started at 1. One woe is past. Alright, so World War One. Alright, from uh, 14... 14... 19... 1914 to like 1948. Alright, which, uh, you know, the Red Shield, they founded that war. You know, World War Two. You know, you know, um, you know, they founded that war. Right. And um, this war, all right, it said, Behold, there cometh two woes more hereafter, all right, and, and that third woe, you know, that woe is coming, man. All right, you see what's going on with the Ukraine, all right, uh, with Russia, you know, uh, Israel, and America, all right, so this is going to be. Uh, a time where uh, the Lord's gonna do a lot a great judgment man and the sex angel sounded and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before the most High, saying to the six angel which is had the triumph who had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bounded in the great river euphrates right and uh the great river euphrates right now you know like that's a prophecy and right and we see with the news that the great river euphrates is dry is dried up it's pretty much dry right so and they're building uh you know um a bridge or whatever so you know like once that happens man you know the russians and you know you know the Chinese or whatever you know like they're gonna kick this thing off and it's gonna go right into the land of um it's gonna go right into that in that region man you know see what happened in over uh, 10 years ago with the with this with the Syrian war man you know and that was bloody man so imagine when that when that's gonna kick off again over there in, in Israel you know that whole region lebanon you know iran's right there you know that's ezekiel 39 ezekiel 38 you know these are the times that we're in man you know this you know we, like we're in the time of the mark the motb that's uh, almost on its way you know that's gonna come to the you know the uh, like the uk it's gonna come to canada and america you know and the four angels were loose, which were prepared to, for an in, for an hour and a day and a month, and a year, for to slay. So yeah, so the so the Lord Yahweh, Yahweh, all right. He, he like he knows the day, you know when this place is gonna go down, all right. But you know the Yahweh Shai, like he doesn't know. The angels don't know. Only the heavenly Father knows. Prepared for an hour and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. All right, the third part of men, which be the sons of the wicked. All right, Esau. All right, and the number of you know because you have the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of the wicked. All right, you know when you go to Genesis, uh, you know one, two, three, you know, and uh, pr pretty much you know. Um, and like that's why you know the flood happened, all right. And Noah, you know, there's uh, only um uh, Shem, Ham, Japhet, all right, and with their daughters, all right, then Noah with his wife, and whatever. And they had, and um, you know, and that's gonna happen again, all right, because the you know, the you know, the earth was flooded, you know, and um. You know the Mosai 
he chose Shem, all right? We come out, you know, because after Shem, you know, because, uh, you know, there's, there's many nations who come, a couple nations that come out of that line, Shem, at least five or six, right? You had, um, you know, Elam, Elam, all right? Um, you know, the Moabites, the Japanese, or uh, the Moabites, right? Would be Chinese or, or North Koreans or whatever what they will call themselves today are the Japanese all right which would be Ammon um that the Midianites are the you, you uh Ishmaelites or you Arabs you know you Persians you know and so on you know and then you have the Hamites right who come out that line of Ham all right and then you have the the Japhites right which would be like you Etruscans, you know, um, um, and basically uh, the Etruscans or these or the Japhites would be you um, would be you people over there in like um, in the Philippines and that or those in those regions, you know, Singapore and you know uh, Australia, you know those uh, those type of people right but um i digress and uh the four angels were loose which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month this and a day for to slay the third part of men and the number of the armies the horsemen were 300 three score 100 300 thousand thousand and i heard it a number of them yeah, and um, it's going to go into it, but that's pretty much with the destruction, you know, that's going to come upon the land of Babylon, America. And um, there's going to be a, 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 a total destruction, man. And that it's going to, that's why the Lord says, um, the scriptures says that the, he, he's going to sweep it with the besom or the besom of destruction, man. You know, Babylon. So, you know, um, was gonna go so long but i'm gonna play this and then i'm gonna go back into uh mate's or uh the costa line <laughs> In a very short time, the Rothschild family's business and commercial interests expanded. They focused on investments in the textile sector, the gold trade, and the insurance industry. They became increasingly involved in the world of stock market investing. The economic and political power of Meyer Amschel and his family grew enormously, thanks in large measure to war loans he made available to states and monarchies during the Napoleonic Wars. Meyer Amschel Rothschild child died in Frankfurt on September 19, 1812. He was 68 and left behind an empire extending over Europe's financial and commercial panorama. The Rothschild empire grew stronger with the advent of the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, so yeah, they're well established. We know who they are now, you know, this Cesare Porgias, you know, we know uh, he'd be David the Rothschild. All right, so, um, you know, the people who they, you know, our people worship, right? Um, you know, this, uh, the Cesare Borgia or, or, uh, you know, what they will call Jesus Christ, you know, which is a, a false, a false depiction of our, of our, you know, because, uh, you know, they basically use that image you know to destroy our people right? and they um, whitewash our images with iconoclasm or right? destroy that history right? and pretty much um, you know it took them years because our, so a lot of our people were still in power in, throughout Europe but ultimately we all f we fell right and thus why we're in the ghettos where we fell you know, we're um, in these different uh, colonies, you know, you know, subjugated all right, because we have sinned against the Heavenly Father. All right. But the time of our um, the time of our 
the time of our um, our recompense, our judgment is gonna is coming to an end, right? I think it's Baruch. Then I'm gonna. So that's the spirit, right? Um, I wanted to really continue on, on the um, the Costa line, right? But I'm gonna Baruch. Cause a lot of history. Uh, Baruch four and four. O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasant to Yahweh are made known to unto us. Be of a good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nation not for your destruction, but because you have moved Yahweh to wrath. You were you were delivered unto unto the enemies, all right, because we provoked the heavenly father to wrath, so the most I use the left hand all right to like punish our people all right we know that the left hand hand is um you no know, two ball cane or you either might right or, or you or uh cane all right because cane was an artificer all right then um you know he's the you know and they say that cane was the first artificer you know i um, could get that quick Tubal cane, a blacksmith, two ball cane or two ball cane, all right, because this was uh you know after a uh, cane slew his brother Abel, all right. Um you know the Lord was vexed with him, you know, with Cain and uh he that's why he, he was uh stripped with leb he was stripped with leprosy, all right, his pigmentation was removed. You know, he's a fugitive and still a fugitive, you know, to this day. And um, it says, uh, Tubal Cain. A Tubal Cain is a person mentioned in the biblical, in the Bible, in Genesis 4, verse 22, known for being the first blacksmith. He is stated as the forger of, of an instrument. Of bronze age and iron um, you know and we know that you know that these uh, you know these Timonites right which would be uh, you know one of the you know the Dukes of Esau right they um, you know now they're call themselves uh, German scientists right, or uh, Nazi scientists, whatever they call themselves, but you know they pretty much uh, after World War Two, they um, after World War Two or whatever with uh, the Germans or whatever they fell or whatever. So a lot of them came to the Americas. Some of them went to Russia. Some of them went to the America, Argentina, certain parts of Europe and elsewhere and um, they established themselves and they have and they're still creating weapons of uh you know and um the heavenly father the heavenly father Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the one who gave them you know like this technology right because esau is a is a witch is a he's a he's an alchemist all right and um and that's what they're involved in, you know, alchemy and all kinds of shit. All right, on the left hand. All right. Joel, our slack is Psalm 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Which is thy sword, all right? So we know that. You know, like you know, like you know, like we're asking the Lord to deliver us from Cain, man, from the Edomites, from you, 
you know, the sons of the wicked man, from which is thy sword, from men which are, are thy hand, O Lord, from the men of the world which have their portion in their, in this life, and whose belly, thou, whose belly thou fillest in thy hid treasure, thou art full of children and leave their rest of their substance unto their babes. So we know that, you know, Rothschild, you know, like they are made a lot of money, right, off of this. They made a lot of money, man. You know, and they have the world, and um, you know they have, they have hundreds of. Meyer Amschel Rothschild. Yeah, man, they have hundreds of trillions, man. All right, and like that's why like they run everything, like you know, like they said, Job nine twenty four, the earth given to the hand of the wicked, right? Let me uh, continue with this. Solomon went to Vienna, James to Paris, and Carl to Naples. Each of them founded a bank with ties to their father's bank. In a very short time, the Rothschild family's business and commercial interests expanded. They focused on investments in the textile sector, the gold trade, and the insurance industry. They became increasingly involved in the world of stock market investing. The economic and political power of Meyer Amschel and his family grew enormously, thanks in large measure to war loans he made available to states and monarchies during the Napoleonic Wars. Meyer Amschel Rothschild died in Frankfurt on September 19, 1812. He was 68 and left behind an empire extending over Europe's financial and commercial panorama. The Rothschild empire grew stronger with the advent of the Industrial Revolution as the family... Yeah, so you see how, how they inherited a lot of wealth. It says if Psalm 70, 17, there's 14, for it says... Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from men which which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world who have their portion in this life, whose belly whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children, and leave their rest of their substance to their babes. You know, so we, we pray that, you know, Yahweh Shah, he deliver us from these people because what they're doing with their, um, they're doing all kinds of things right now, you know, with their food, you know, you know, they're collect, you know, they're polluting the water, they're polluting, you know, everything's upside down, you know, uh, meat, you know, they're talking about, um, what do you call it, uh, meat. They call the um, these scientists, what their lab, what they call them. Uh, yeah, like the three D printer, you know, like they have the three D, yeah, like they have the three D printing, right? Like machine, right? With these scientists and they're processing meat, all right? So let's say you go to a restaurant. All right, and you uh, you buy like something, right? Like you buy meat, you buy a steak, you buy a lamb, whatever. You know, you, you that that's all an illusion, man. You know, it's all a damn illusion, man. All right, because these people are alchemists, and um, you know they follow that whole witch witchcraft, that tamut. All right, and. Um, you know, so they do a lot of things, man. You know, and it's crazy, man. And it shows you who has the power. You know, they have everything, man. You know, we're subject, you know, unto these people, man. All right, because we sin against the Heavenly Father. And as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I will be satisfied when I awake with thy lightness and we, we're hoping to awake because we're in nightmare right we're in the valley of the shadow of death all right so the lord has to deliver us from this evil man psalm 24 and uh, 1 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want so our shepherd is yahweh shy all right 
you know he's the one who's going to lead us right and where there's the sheep you know we're you know the 12 tribes right the you know like we're just the sheep all right but the lord he's only looking for his sheep of his pasture right which would be of the elect all right and of the one third all right because two thirds of our people you know is going to be destroyed you know with this uh, nuclear catastrophe you know you know that's going to come upon the world all right zechariah i think uh, 13 all right it said two parts therein shall be cut off and the one part the one and the one part you know shall be us uh, could go zechariah 13 well i'm kind of running out of time um he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me he leave me that beside the still waters right so the most high he's gonna he's gonna give us you know everything what we have been you know he's gonna give us he's gonna give us the world man you know he's gonna give us everything right psalms 2 ask me and i shall give thee the heathen so you know so the most high you know the lord's already you know like the son yahweh shai he's on the he's already on the on the right hand you know he's already on the right hand with like yahweh shai right and um like we're gonna you know inherit that same promise you know as what yahweh shai you know and yahweh shai he's the he's the rule he's the king all right and he's gonna and he's gonna and he's gonna crown his elect all right you know and he's gonna crown his uh his king you know king david you know the 12 the one th and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, um and the twelve thousand out of, out of the 12 tribes all right all right in revelation 7 he restored my soul he leadeth me beside he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk, he said, Yea, he restored my soul. He restored me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake, man. So, yeah, the Lord, he's he restoring us, man. He's restoring us daily, all right? All right, because we have all fall short, all right? And, and the most high having mercy upon his elect. Right, so we hope to be worthy and um you know that he will have mercy and you know you know and will restore us man so to restore restore which means shawab which is said to return turn back to turn back return turn back turn back again you know, it says to turn back from God. Apostate, to turn away from God, to turn back to God, to repent, right? So this is a time for our people to repent, all right? But we only know, but we know that, you know, only the elect's going to repent, man. All right? Um... You know and that name you know is important like you have to know the name right you know that's like when you're going to a club you know if you want to go to the club or you want you know like you'd have to have a uh like the the code you know like to enter into that club right the vip or the club you know like you know because if you don't have that that uh that code you know like you won't be able to enter all right so that's how you know it's the same thing with that it's the same thing with the the heavenly father's name and the son right like you have to know those two names right you have to know the the mosai the father right yahweh yahweh which means yah he hawa all right is um exists or to be all right and yahweh shai means yah he and what shy it was it would mean deliver all right or he delivers all right so you have to know those codes you know to come into that that club 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, and thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So, yeah, as long as we, we're, we're calling upon the name, all right, we, and we know those, those uh, and we know that code, you know, like to enter into that, into that VIP, that club, <laughs> or whatever, you know, that we know that the Heavenly Father is going to comfort us. Now with his word, you no, know, Isaiah thirty three and six, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that of that time. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies, thou shalt anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. So we know that this truth, what we have got, you know, from the apostles, you know, and what they have got from their apostles from, you know, um Arya, Apostle Arya. You know, King Masha, you know, Yaikwab, you know, and, um, you know, and the Abba Bivins, you know, that, um, you know, our cup is running over, man. All right, you know, like with this knowledge and stuff and um, our eyes are open, you know, that, that, um, you know, our eyes is open, you know, clear. You know, so we, like where it says thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, thou anointed my head with oil. All right, because we have a lot of enemies, man, secret enemies. We have a lot of, uh, we have a lot, lot of enemies, man. All right, because these, you know, because these nations, you know, the, you know, the wicked, you know, um, like they don't want to see our people rise back to to power and glory, man. Um, like they want to keep us down surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever and that's what we're hoping all right when the lord comes and does his work you know like we're going to be immortal all right um sing isaiah 58 um basically talks about you know the law is gonna be in our inward parts, man. That you know, so we're so we're so we're, so we're not gonna be able to sin. You know, we're gonna you know like we're gonna have the tree of life again, man. So we're gonna be you know like we're gonna be immortal, man. You know, and we're gonna live long life. We're gonna be able, to, you know, we're gonna have you know spiritual power. And 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 like right now we have the spiritual power right now, you know. You know by speaking this word you know you know and uh, like there's gonna be a lot of miracles man so even you know like we might get chastised we might get judged or, or, or killed you know for your you know for the testimony sake you know the you know the you know like the elect you know uh, like the you know is gonna be risen first all right uh, and like when the lord comes all right with his ship you know there's gonna be a lot of things happening. Well, let me continue this. Mining and oil companies to their portfolio of stakes in large steel companies and railways. Coined by Meyer Amschel himself, the family's motto, Concordia, Integritas, Industria, repeatedly rang true when the winds of history seemed to blow against. Yeah, and like it is what it is. Like, you know, the most I he, you know, everyone has their time to rule, right? And um, you know, we fell, right? Because we we fell, you know, and uh, Israel, our people, you know, us as Israelites, we, you know, we, we like we got nothing but hell, man, from Egypt. <laughs> you know, like from me when you go to Genesis. You know the sons of God. You know basically Adam when Adam fell. You know. You know because he you know he followed the woman right, and so we fell. You know like from this day, and <laughs> whatever. So now we're gonna get back the tree of life. All right, everyone has their time to rule. Psalm seventy five and seven. For God is the judge; he putteth down one and set up up another. Man, so. You know, this is the Lord's Game of Thrones, man. Everybody has their time to rule, and you know, and uh, the the jig is and, and and like the jig is up, and um, you know, 
that's what it is man for god is for in the hand of the lord is a cup and the wine is red and is full of mixture and he pour out the same but the dregs thereof all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them so you see how we went to cap you no know, cargo slave ships and you know we're catching hell you know our people getting murdered you know they have the music you know this music industry you know who's running that you know and that's just pushing death murder you know adultery you know um you know the entertainment you know the porn like the pornography industry like you know like like who's making all that the the whole the whole uh music you no know, hollywood like who runs that you know so it's like you know so so everybody you know they kane or uh two ball kane or you know isa the serpent you know like they had their time right so now it's going to be the time that you know that we're gonna you know that you know that we're gonna have you know let the rule all right for esau is the end of the world jacob's beginning of it that follow with second Ezra six and nine but i will declare the forever i will sing praises to yahweh of my of jacob and the horns of the wicked also will i cut off but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted right so the elect right whoever they may be all right which i hope to be lord's will and if i do what i have to do and you know stay in prayer and because it's already ordained you know like who's gonna who's gonna be delivered and who's not right so we want to be uh worthy and uh, do everything according to the best of our ability to be uh you know like to be calm and worthy man but the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. And um, yeah, I was gonna go back into this one quick, and then after I'm about to close out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is like a this is like a brief history of um you know canada you know this guy let me, um so like, yeah. yeah this gasper guy yeah the gasper caught real or or costa all right a lot of history all right so we always been coming over here all right this is the bait among the historian among the relative important court real memorial university of newfoundland his historical jeff webb started into in 2017 that he is a minor figure about whom very very little is known with confidence right so they know who who we are and whatever but you know what they want to cover up all right and um like this guy he would come to the americas too john voice courtier real all right or costa um 1420 to 1496 was a a portuguese sailor claimed by some of account account to have been an explorer on it's like an explorer of a land called terra nova de bachel bachel thing bachel ha new new land of codfish right so you know that newfoundland and all that stuff that has a whole heap of codfish right and um it's a lot of money a lot of industry so you know um you know i i, I remember i was like uh 
I was a delivery. I had a route, and uh, I would deliver, um, you know, veil, you know, sheep and goats, you know, and it's a hard labor. I have to put that, you know, these veil that's all 200, 300 pounds. I'm a skinny guy. I hold hold that on my shoulder, and then just hang it in the truck. So, you know, I had like a route that I would go throughout the um, throughout the GTA. You know, and out of the GTA, and I had a route 10, 20, like, like different routes, right? And Monday to Saturday that I would um, deliver, right? So I was very industrious, man. All right, but, um, you know, and um, I was, uh, you know, I would go amongst uh, a lot of the, the Portuguese too. And the Italian, right? So a lot of there are people over there in um, Portugal, you know, also, um, you know, Sicily, you know, certain parts of Italy, you know, a lot of our people are scattered, you know, you know, member of court, the real family, all right, it goes down, could read about this guy, his lineage. I come out that lineage, all right. And because these are things that, um, like they don't want our people to know, whatever. Right? I come out that same lineage too, right? So, you know, so we always been coming back and forth to the uh, Canada whatever and and like that's what they gotta really do in this in the school right or not even yeah in the school and they should make a movie right but are they gonna make a movie about it no Matei de Costa Matei de Costa was a African French member of the explorer party of Per de, de Maga the Sierra de Mont and Samuel de Chaplain that traveled from France to the New World. All right, you could read about that stuff. Um, you know, he was very, he was, he was ta very talented. It says um, that a little doc, like a little documentary, a little documentary about Mathe de Costa of a least partial African ancestry. All right, which is not African, right? He comes out of the, the stock of the Iberians, right? right? The Iberian Peninsula, right? All right, from Israel, all right, and from the Iberian, from Spain, Portugal, that whole region, right? He is known as being a free man favored by explore, explore, explorers for his multilingual talent numerous mixed it says numerous mixed races african portuguese person were part of africa Atlant, it's like atlantic creole generation all right when um often worked as sail sailors or interpreters he his portfolio of language includes um, thoughts to have included Dutch, all right, English, French, Portuguese, Mi'kmaq, all right, which would be the dialect that Gad, all right, because we were always going back and forth, right, with the the, the Costa or, or the Costa family and the Pigeon Basque, Basque speak, all right, so the French, the Spanish. No, Portuguese said so the dialect m many Aboriginal use for trade purposes, right? So we were always trading, right? Because that's why we're always we're always multilingual, right? To know at least three, four, you know, even more, like five, six, you know, you know, um like different languages. All right, because we were a tradesman. 
Alright. Um, well, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to go so long, but um, this is going to be the last scripture. Baruch 4 and um, and uh, 5. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nation not for your destruction, but because you have moved your hell to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies. You, were provo you have provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh, right? And that's why our people, our people are sacrificed to the devil, man. Our people is worshiping the devil right now, man. You know, they, they you know, because a lot of our people who want to get, want to make in this world, you know, our people do all kind of strange things, man. You know, so, you know, this is, uh, you know, like this is pretty much the end of the road, you know, for you devils out here, man. And, and you, and you, you, you two thirds, all right, who made their covenant, you know, like with, with Esau and stuff. And you feel like you're going to be on high. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is going to judge you, man. All right. And you're going to be born back, you know, as babes. You're going to be, you know, because you're going to be, you're going to die. You know, but, you know, but the elect, you know, like, you know, like when they have children, like they're going to, you know, like you're going to come through our line or like our lineage. All right. And, um, you know, and you're going to be ashamed, you know, like when you're going to, you know, like, um, like you're going to be ashamed, you know, you know, um, like when you, when you're going to grow up whatever you know like by the time you get a certain age and whatever and then you want to learn about who you know you're going to learn about like who you are and like what you did and stuff like yeah our people are going to be ashamed man so we want to you know stay on the straight and narrow you know like we don't want to go on the broad we want to stay on the straight and narrow man for ye provoked him that made you by sacrifice unto devils not to Yahweh, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grievous, and ye have grieved that Jerusalem that nourished you, right? So we, you know, and we know that Jerusalem is a people before us a place, right? We know that Jerusalem is a city of peace, all right? That's what it means. Yerushalayim, all right, city of peace, all right, and um. You know or zion as well right which means a monument all right because the people in the land of israel you know the people in the state of israel you know that like they aren't the real monuments all right there's some of our people who scattered amongst them you know and only the you know only like the heavenly father you know, and the angel are gonna have mercy upon he's gonna have mercy upon who you know he's gonna because if he, um, Ezekiel th like thirty nine man said so the angels are gonna are gonna exempt those who have the thawa. All right, which means exempt from judgment, man. So if you're not exempt from judgment, that means that judgment's gonna come at your doorstep. Like the Passover or so, so, no, not the pass. Yeah, the Passover with um with Exodus. You know, like this is going to be the like Passover part two, man. You know, Genesis 15. Could get that. For people, for he have forsaken the everlasting, for ye have forsaken the everlasting power that brought you up. And ye have, gr ye have grieved Jerusalem that nourished you. For when she now saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, go, God hath brought upon me great mourning. All right, um, let me get up. I'm going to get this last scripture and close out. I think it's Genesis 15. So, like, yeah. 
think it's 15 or 14. I think it's 16. Genesis 16 verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I it is it shall no more be said the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right. So we're approaching these times now. All right. And this was a prophecy, you know, that prophet Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah was uh, alive during the like during the Babylonian captivity. He was a young man. He was only like uh, he was only like eight years old. All right. And, uh, you know, and he was like a, he was one of the strong. He was a very, you know, strong prophet, man. At the end of the age of eight and was warning our people, man. And basically, um, you know, almost 3,000 years over, almost 3,000 years later, right now, like we're reading this uh, prophecy. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel. Children of Israel are the land of Egypt, right? So, like how are the you know because we were in the land of Egypt, right, for four hundred thirty years, right, until Yahweh Shai came, you know, you know because he's the one who 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 uh, who killed all the firstborn of Egypt, who brought all the plagues, and he's gonna do the same thing again, man. So there's gonna be a lot more judgment. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, right, North America, all right, from Canada, America, uh, and from all the lands, whether ye have driven them, right? So we're delivered, you know, like we're scattered throughout the whole earth, man, or right, from North, uh, the, the North American continent, you know, Central America, South America, the Caribbean. From the east, you know, we're scattered, man. And um, and I uh, will bring them again into the land that I gave unto their father. So that shows you the people them in the in the land of Israel. They're not their real inhabitants, all right. And um, and they don't fulfill this prophecy, all right. And they know who they are, man. Like the people, like. The people that the the rabbis or whatever like they know like who we are man the high level rabbis and these people they know man behold i will send many fishers saith the lord and they shall fish them right and we're fishing them right you know by you know by telling our people who they are you know and to tell our people to repent and to call upon the name all right and to you know, because the Mosai is going to give the Thawad. He's going to give the exemption, right? He's going to have the angels pass over, all right? So we want to, you know, so we're, you know, so we're going on the highways and byways. We're making our, our videos, our in-classes. And they shall hunt them. It's like a, and after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain. So these people... You know, after this third woe, all right, you know, you know, all these people with their with their underground bunkers, all right, they shall hunt them from every mountain, right? It's from these deep underground military bases, right? You know, like that they have throughout uh America, Canada. All right, but you know, America is gonna be to completely destroyed, so it doesn't matter. You know, cause by the time you like, like you're gonna get swallowed up, you know, like with that fire, man. But um, anywhere else, where like where you're gonna be hiding or whatever. You know, your space station or whatever, like you're not gonna be able to hide, man. From every mountain and from every hill and from the holes of the rock. From my eyes. Are upon all their ways they shall they are not hid from my face so they're not hid all right so the eyes of the heavenly fa of the heavenly father his eyes are his his eyes are ten thousand ten thousand times brighter than the sun all right 
I know I know that, that that's the wisdom of Solomon. You know, so you know so 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 there's nothing it's all like so you can't hide yourself. Alright, it doesn't matter if you try to go into uh, what do you call it, the NASA space station or the deep underground uh dumps. You know? You're not gonna hide, man. Um for for mine eyes are upon all their ways they are not hid from my face neither is their king iniquity hid from mine eyes and af and and first i will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of detestable and abominable things all right, and these people are gonna get double, right? I think Lamentation four and twenty two. All right, because these people, they're talking about they want to keep the law, all right, you know, but they're not, all right, because they have the, I think in in like Tel Aviv with their, you know, they call it Pink City. Right? You know, you know the kosher pig. They do all kind of stuff on that land, man. So uh, that, like, say, I pray to do to Yahweh, but Hashem El Shai. The one to the apostles of Great Millstone. I didn't uh really mean to go so long, but uh, hopefully this video is edifying, and um, this is just some history that's uh, based on you know our people here in uh, Canada. You know, so there's a lot of history and stuff that you know that uh, these uh, school curriculums, you know don't want our people to know so um so these little things what i was going into today uh hopefully you guys um could do your own research and uh make a video you know so with that let's like say i'll praise due to you how about you not share double honors to the apostles of great millstone peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect shalom